So this is the second part of this uh, font making videos. <clears throat> and so far the good news is that the water is holding. I have keep this water for more than three weeks since I first fill it out and it lo it loses like three four millimeters of water per day but uh, I performed the the bucket test and it is losing the same amount of water. I put a bucket of water here next to the lake and as much it loses due to evaporation it's the same amount that the pond is losing so that's good. We made a little progress and we've done like half half of the pond is ready here this steep edges are giving us hard time it's very steep and hard to do this is the what it is before and this is after we clear up all the the plants, the weeds, the stones, that's how it looks after. Those stones here, we just cover them with with this soil and smooth it out. I'm putting some fresh water because and and as you can see the bubbles over there together with the water I put some oxygen too because I have few fishes over there over here I have two rainbow trouts and a couple of catfish and another species as well. And the algae is growing very well so far and the water is very muddy. The other thing is that one of the piles, the 30 metric tons of bentonite, it's already gone. So I order another 20, 20 metric tons to make sure that I have enough bentonite to finish the pond. Here Another thing, at the edge here, I put this leftover, I used this before on the top of my house that I'm not using it anymore, so I put it here at the end to make sure that the plant, the plant that I will grow in the future around the edges here to make sure they their roots they don't penetrate the bentonite and also for another insulation here is the weakest part of the pond 
the dam so it's good to be reinforced here is how I suck air and incorporate it in the water I use this simple maize injector it is sucking water as the water pass, passes through it it sucks air into the water so this is good news the water is holding but you know this evaporation thing when the the pond is filled to the top it will be like two decades of surface area and this evaporation will lose around 10 cubic meters of water per day and that's what I calculated ah, one more thing here just to show you how I connect the two layers of uh, polyethylene uh, so I put the bentonite and then put the fabric again some bentonite on top of it and then I put the nylon and when I connect the two nylons the two pieces I put the next one on the bottom then I put this one on top and I, I put some bentonite between the two layers so when the water comes in it will expand the bentonite and seal the two layers of, uh, ben of uh, polyethylene ah, some water may still go through but it is not the polyethylene polyethylene that uh, is sealing the pond it's the bentonite it's just an extra an extra protection okay that's going to be the end of the second part